Dobby, you're, you're really eating at the wrong time right now. Hey guys, long time no vlog or any sort of video for that matter. I think it's been three or four months at this point and I somewhat intentionally but not intentionally took a break. If you can hear him munching, I'm sorry. I have a class of guy ginger ale and we're just gonna talk about what's been kind of going on. Well, I'll tell you what I can. So on the day that I'm filming this, it is December 9th. It's a Thursday today. Um, I don't even know where to start, honestly, so I'm just going to kind of start talking about stuff, and if it's out of order, I'm sorry, but the last few months have honestly just been a total blur. Like, I have no other way to describe it other than it's just a total blur. Um, so, I guess the biggest thing is I had a gas gastroscopy. <laughs> I can't pronounce that word. A gastroscopy done um, early in November, and this was regarding earlier this year. I think it was in February. I ultimately went three weeks without pooping, and I've kind of dealt with that my whole life. It's just something that I've had since I was born but it's never gotten to the point that it did and I was referred to a gastroenterologist and so we did this gastroscopy and he met with me and my mom before the procedure and he said this probably isn't going to show us anything but we have to go in order to get the test that we that I want to get done so we have to do this before we can do this. And so I was like, okay, that, I mean, it makes sense. Um, the procedure went well. They discovered that I have a lot of, narrowing isn't the right word, but lots of like acidic buildup and swollen uh, esophageal lining where my esophagus and my stomach meet, it's really narrow which can cause a lot of heartburn, acid reflux, all of that. They also discovered that I have bleeding spots in my stomach, which aren't big enough to be classified as ulcers. However, they can cause some pretty big issues, which they have been, and that's part of the reason why I haven't been feeling well. My gastroenterologist suspects that I most likely have gastroparesis which is delayed stomach and intestinal emptying so we are going to do a in-depth intestinal ultrasound which apparently only a gastroenterologist can do I didn't realize that so we have to schedule that and then he also wants to get a gastric emptying study done which basically he said you eat radioactive toast or eggs and you go for a scan every hour for like four hours so get to get that done I mean both really aren't that bad it could be so much worse do you want to say hi do you want to say hi to everybody come here did you want to say hi Is you a little bit of attention hog? He's mad because I haven't been giving him three hours of belly rubs today. Um, what else has gone on? I have an appointment to see a dermatologist about the growth on my shoulder. Um, it hasn't really gotten any bigger. I mean, it might have, I honestly, it's hard for me to tell because I see it every day, but every time I see my mom, 
she's like, oh, it's gotten bigger. So get to go see a dermatologist. I believe, in, yeah, it's in January that I get to go see the dermatologist. Oh, I started a job at the beginning of November. Um, it's in the same town that my dad works in. Quite honestly, I the job is causing me a lot of stress, which is kind of wreaking havoc on my body. Um, my body does not respond well to stress at all. It never has. I used to just get really bad anxiety, but within the last, like, two, three years, I've started responding to stress in physical ways. So not only do I get anxious, I also like have a tendency to get really sick. Um, my pain gets worse, I get migraines. It's like my body is telling me you can't handle this. And that's kind of what is happening with work right now. Um, it's really taking a toll on me, honestly. It's not a good situation. Um, but I need the job, so I will stick it out as long as I can. Thankfully, I get like a week and a half, almost two weeks off at Christmas, so I'm really looking forward to that. Honestly, I feel like that's all there is to update on. Obviously, I decorated my place for Christmas. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of plans for Christmas, so... I guess like the biggest thing that's happened that I've somewhat talked about on Instagram but I haven't really said too much just because I don't know how comfortable I feel just like totally sharing but Brayden and I are no longer together. He moved out at the end of August and not that things necessarily ended really badly, they could have ended better but it just it didn't work out for us and that's okay uh, we officially stopped being together the beginning of July actually um, so yeah it it was hard but honestly I think it was needed um, this is gonna come across as bad but my health has significantly improved um, in the sense that I'm having significantly less seizures I've had three since July two of which have been in the last month and I'm pretty sure it's due to stress caused by work um, I just I feel more independent and it's great um, although that being said, yesterday I was taking out my garbage and it was, it had snowed a lot during the day and I stepped on a patch of ice that was underneath snow and I slipped and I fell onto my right side and now I hurt really, really, really badly. So not saying that, you know, my health issues have gone away. They definitely haven't. I'm definitely still experiencing a lot of pain, brain fog. Um, anxiety, memory issues, I still have seizures, I'm having tons of stomach and gut issues, like, I'm still unwell, but it's not to the point where it was, which is great, so, yeah, um, in October, my parents officially moved here to Saskatoon, which honestly has been amazing. I love being able to go see them whenever I want. Um, most days I actually go there for supper, partially because I don't have the money for food, but I also, I love spending time with my family, so that's been really good, and Dobby is happy that he gets to go see Leo pretty much every day, because I drop him off before I go to work. Um, yeah, it's been super, super nice. Um, I don't know. What else? I feel like there's a lot, but there also isn't at the same time. I guess another really big thing is, and I feel like I have been somewhat judged because of it, but I'm happy, so I really don't care. I have started seeing somebody. 
Um, I probably won't share that relationship for a while. Um, but I'm happy and he is absolutely amazing and he makes me very, very happy. <laughs> Um, he gets me out of the house. He is very much an extrovert and I'm very much an introvert, so I kind of level him out and he levels me out so that we're not inside all the time, but we're also not out all the time either. So that's been really good. I really don't know what else to talk about, guys. I haven't really, aside from like work, I haven't been doing a whole lot, which really is weird, but... I'm hoping to start vlogging when I'm off of work, so once or twice a week for sure. Um, I will try and have a video up as often as I possibly can, however, sometimes it's just really difficult because I don't really do much, so yeah. If there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments. and. Until next time, I hope you guys are well, and I'll talk to you soon.